Hi, I'm Nico, and welcome to another episode of Where is Nico? This time, I'm in the capital of South Korea, Seoul. There's three things I often hear said about Seoul. It has amazing shopping, fantastic food, and great nightlife. So I'm going to spend the weekend in the city showing you some of the best things to do. So this is Where is Nico? A weekend in Seoul. We arrived on Friday afternoon and we were starving. So we headed straight out for one of Seoul's most iconic meals, chicken and beer. I found that the crisp beer was the perfect accompaniment to the spicy chicken. We then explored the area of Hongdae. This area has a large student population, which is reflected in the many restaurants, bars and clubs that line the street. Don't worry if you're strapped for cash, however. The best entertainment comes from the many street performers, which are some of the best I've seen. the crazy clubs as they're not really our thing and headed for a small bar called Suzy Q. This bar is run by an old couple who, along with their son, spend the night serving drinks and spinning vinyl. It houses one of the biggest vinyl collections I've ever seen, so it's perfect for a chilled out night listening to some old tunes. head to one of the most infamous takeouts in Hongdae, Monster Pizza. Maybe it was the Korean beer talking, but I can honestly say it was one of the best pizzas I've ever eaten. And I eat a lot of pizza. the best place to go to cure the hangover is Guanjang Market. This market has rows upon rows of delicious food for you to try. We loved sitting amongst the locals and sampling some of the classic Korean dishes. by heading to Namsan Park for a ride up the cable car to the end Seoul Tower. This has some amazing views of the sea. We kept off our experience by enjoying a nice cold beer at one of the sky bars. Explore the streets of Itaewon, which has a large expat population. It's a great place to party in and find varied cuisines from all over the world. We drank German beer and ate Japanese food. Mm -hmm. 
On Sunday, put yourself in a breakfast coma by heading to Travelmaker for real American breakfast. The blueberry pancakes were amazing, although I could barely walk afterwards. sightseeing by exploring some of the iconic places in Seoul. They'll pop up on the screen because I can't pronounce them. walking through the winding streets of the old town but when the rain showed no sign of easing up we had to skip the palaces and head to the trick art museum for some indoor fun we had lots of fun taking silly photos and playing with the optical illusions without trying some Korean barbecue. What better way to top off our final evening than grilling some meat and drinking some soju, the spirit of choice here. for three nights and I can't believe how much we saw. The locals are cool, welcoming and they certainly know how to party. Korea, you have left me wanting more. If you like this video then don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This was brought to you on a very bad soju hangover. So I'll see you next time. Bye!